Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this beautiful gradient search box animation in After Effects that too without using any third party plugin. Now it's a very popular style of animation that you might have seen in the explainer videos. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Also for this project, we are going to use the 32 bits per channel. So make sure to select this. Otherwise you can use 8 bit as well, but it will give you better results if you use the 32 bit. So let's begin by creating a new solid. So right click, let's add a solid. Just click on OK. On this one, we are going to apply a four color gradient. Let's drag it, change the colors and let's just place them. So I'm done with my background. It's completely up to you can pick whatever colors you want. So now we will begin by creating our search box. So for that, let's select the rounded rectangle tool and just simply click and drag. We are going to play around with the size property. Let's search for size and I'm going to quickly change its value. So let's set this to 1080 by let's set this to 125. And also we want to change its roundness. So let's search for it and let's set this to something like 70 so that we have these very nice rounded edges. Let's align it in the center of this comb. Let's align it and also let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So hold on the control key, double click on the span anchor tool. And on this one, we don't need any kind of stroke. So I'm going to set this zero. Instead, we will have need some fill. So I'm going to pick this dark color. Perfect. Now we are going to select this and let's press control D to duplicate this. And on this one, we actually don't need fill. We only need stroke. So let's just increase it somewhere around here. Let's set this to 5. Now we are going to add some taper to this. So for that, let's select this. Go under the rectangle, stroke. And over here we have this taper option. So under the taper, we are going to only change the end length. I'm going to set this to 100. Now we have this thick line over here. And as we are moving away, you can see it becomes smaller. After this, we can add one more thing. So let's add trim path to control the size of this line. Let's go inside this and Using the start property, we can animate this and using the end property, we can trim the end of this. So let's just place it somewhere around here. Now you can see we have our line and if you want to animate it, we can just use the offset value like this. Now I'm going to quickly align it so that the line is somewhere around here. Kind of like this and we want this ending to be like very close to this. So let's add a keyframe for this. Let's add a keyframe for offset as well and maybe we only want it to be like this big because we are going to zoom in into this position and we want this to like come across also i'm going to change this cap so for that let's go inside the line cap and just set this to rounded so now we have this very nice rounded edge and i feel like this is little too thin so we can just play around with this size somewhere around eight looks good so here we have our line so before we start animating it we want to have a controller so right click let's add a null object Let's parent, let's select both of these layers and just parent it to the null. Now I'm going to select this. Let's press S for scale and let's add a keyframe. Let's press P for position. Let's add a keyframe for it as well. Now in the beginning, I'm going to scale it quite a bit and let's just place it to this side so that we are able to see this. Now in the beginning, we can move like a couple of frames ahead and I want the line, which is this one. We can start animating it. So for that, we can just move it like this and let's just play around with the end property. Here you can see we have this line and now as the line is moving, we want our position to change as well. Let's just move it a little bit over here and also we can increase the offset so that the line is moving in. Perfect. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now first, if your graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now we want this animation to be like extremely fast. So we can just change it to look like this. So here you can see we have this line. And once we have this, we basically want it to move to the side. So for that, we can select the null object and let's just move it to this side. There you go. Now, if I press play, we can see this motion is very quick, which is exactly what we want. Now, as we are moving, I want my line to follow as well. So for that, we can just simply increase its value like that. Now, if I press play, you can see we have these two things. Maybe we can move it like a little bit ahead and let's just increase it. 
Now again, we can select these keyframes and let's just play around with their easing. First, let's select this position and I want this to be like very quick and maybe something like that. Now for this one, we can play around with this as well. Let's select the offset and first we can press F9. Now I want this to start like really quick, something like that. Now at this point, we won't, we actually don't want it to stop. We actually want it to continue. So for that, let's move like a little bit ahead and I want it to like keep on going. Also, I want to zoom out at this point. So for that, let's set this to 100. And also I'm going to set this to 960, which is like somewhere in the middle of our composition. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates, and all the advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. There you go. Now we have this animation, but we also have to copy the scale because we don't want the scale to change till this point. Somewhere around here. So just copy and paste this. We can delete this as well. Going out. Now at this point, we want it to be like a little bit quick. So just play around with its position. I think this looks good. Now let's play around with this curve. So once we have it over here, we don't want it actually to stop over here. We want it to have a continuous motion. So for that, we can select this keyframe velocity. Make sure that this is checked. Let's click on OK. Now we can go inside the graph editor. Now we can just make it start like little slow. Then we can select these points and just lift them little bit up so that we have this very nice continuous motion. And at this point as well, we don't want it to stop. So I want this to like keep on going. So somewhere around here. Now I want this keyframe to like a little bit far away. So that this motion is smooth. I think this looks good. Perfect. Now I also want this like line to have a little bit more tail. So somewhere around here, we have this end property. And as we are moving out, I can increase it a little bit. You can see we have this animation and at last our thing is going around. Maybe we want it to like stop a little bit slow. There you go. I think this looks good. So once we have this, we are ready to stylize this more by adding some colors to this. So the coloring part is also quite easy. Let's apply four color gradient to this. And I want these to be like really close. Let's place one over here. One to this side, one to this side. And let's just change the color. For the green, we can just simply set this to pink. So now we have added very nice colors to this. Now our next step is to add our text. So for that, let's select the text tool. And let's go somewhere around here. Just click and type whatever you want. So I'm done with my text. Let's select this and just quickly scale this up. Now let's align it in the middle of this composition. And also make sure that it's anchor point is in the center. We can press S to scale this up a little bit. Let's align it. Let's make sure that it is still in the center. Perfect. Now we can also parent it to this null object so that it is scaling like this. Now at last we can animate it by simply adding a typewriting effect. So for that, you can just simply go inside this. Let's search for typewriter and we have two type of effects first is the blinking cursor second one is the typewriter so for this one i'm going to use this blinking cursor let's drag it onto this text and now if i press u we are going to play with the timing of it so somewhere around here we want this text to start there you go now as the text is typing we also want to have little bit of glaze coming out of it so for that let's add an adjustment layer let's search for cc light rays Perfect. Now we can place it somewhere around here. Let's add a keyframe for intensity and center. Let's press U. And we are going to start animating it from this point. And as it is moving, we basically want it to start moving as well. So I want this to be over here. And as we are moving, 
we can just start animating it so just place it wherever we have this text so you can see now it is moving let's move like a little bit ahead and it is moving away it's completely up to you, you can play around with the timing of it just place it to this side and at this point we can place it to this somewhere around here we can like move it little bit ahead and then just play around with the intensity let's just set this to zero and there you go now we have added this very nice text that is typing out now in the beginning we don't want to see this dot so we can set the intensity to zero there you go so now we are done with our basic animation and our next step is to stylize this more by adding some really nice glow. So for that we can select this layer. Let's search for glow and let's drag it onto our shape layer which is this one. And there are a couple of settings that we are going to change. So first I am going to play around with the glow threshold. This one we can set this to 44 and glow radius let's set this to 95. Now these are some values that I have worked down. It's completely up to you can play around with these values. Now we have one now we are going to duplicate this glow so press ctrl d and on this one we are only going to change the glow radius let's set this to 285 let's select this press ctrl d and this one we can set this to 850 and let's select this press ctrl d once again and let's just set this to 1000 now you can see we have this very nice glowing line but in order to enhance this more we need one more copy of it so let's select this press ctrl d and first i'm going to select both of them let's just set them to add now on the first one we are going to remove all the effects we are going to like add them from the bottom and it will make it like completely white so first i'm going to like lower down its size so that we have only this very nice line and then we can start adding glow to this as well let's add the glow and we are going to play around with the properties so this we can set this to 64 let's set this radius to 20 this to 0.2 and let's just select this press ctrl d and on this one we are going to increase the glow radius so we'll set this to 60 let's press ctrl d this one to 180 let's press ctrl d and and this one we are going to set this to 540 so now we have added all the glows and if i press play you can see we have this very nice beautiful colorful glowing line and we have all the other animations already applied now if you don't want it to stop over here then you can again play around with the offset and you can just like keep on going so for example if i move it like a little bit ahead i can just animate it a little bit more let's just copy it and just paste it over here as well now we can select this keyframe let's go to keyframe velocity and make sure that this is checked let's do the same thing over here as well now we can select one of these keyframes and just go inside and let's just change the curves to look like that and let's just lift it a little bit somewhere around here now we can do the same thing onto this as well so select this and again let's change the curve to look like that you can select both of them just to see if the curves are matching I think this looks good now we can select this point and just lift it a little bit now if i press play you can see it won't stop it will have this very nice and smooth continuous motion now in the same way you can like keep on going if you want so this is how you can create cool gradient typing effect in After Effects. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates, and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.